So in this video, we are going to learn how to create a contact in reply.io from Google Sheet. Now suppose guys, if you're using Reply as an AI platform for email outreach, this automation is going to help you a lot. So using this automation, whenever a new row of data with the user details will be added in Google Sheet, with the same details, the same user whose details we have added in Google Sheet will be created as a contact, as a person in Reply. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Sheets to reply.io and then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is whenever we want to add the details of a new contact of a new user in our Google Sheet, Using these details, we want to add the same person as a contact in reply.io. And for that, we have to connect our Google Sheet in which we are entering the user details with Public Connect in the trigger window. So that whenever a new row of user details are added in our Google Sheet, automatically the details of that new user will be received inside Public Connect and this automation workflow should trigger. It will start. And after that, using this Public Connect automation, we are going to send those new user details to reply, reply.io, so that we can add that user as a person, as a contact over there. So let's see how it is done. Now here in our trigger window in Choose App, search for Google Sheets. Just select it. And then in trigger event from this dropdown, select new or updated spreadsheet row. After selecting our trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. And using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Sheet with Public Connect and get the details, get the response of a new row which we are adding in Google Sheet. So here you must be thinking how we are going to add this webhook URL in our Google Sheet. So to do this, you just have to follow the help text given below over here. You just have to follow these instructions. Just copy this webhook URL from here, from Public Connect, and go to the Google Sheet in which you are entering the new user details. After coming to the sheet, go to Extensions, Add-ons, and click on Get Add-ons. After clicking on Get Add-ons, you will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in Search Apps, we have to search for Public Connect Webhooks, P-A-B-B-L-Y, Public Connect Webhooks. And here you can see that Public Connect Webhooks, this add-on is already installed in my Google Sheets. You just have to install this same add-on into your own Google Sheets account. And after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is an important step. After refreshing your Google Sheets, once again we'll go to Extensions. And this time you will see Public Connect Webhooks. This option will be appear in front of us. Just hover on it. And from this drop down, click on Initial Setup. After clicking on initial setup, this window appears in front of us. And it is basically asking us three different things. First one is selected sheet. So it is most likely possible that in your Google sheet, you might have created multiple sheets over there. Right now in my Google sheet, I have created only one sheet named as sheet one. That is why by default it has selected sheet one. But if you have created multiple sheets in your Google spreadsheet, you have to select that the new data from which particular sheet we want to send to Public Connect. So just select the sheet over here. Then it is asking us for the webhook URL. And here in this webhook URL field, we have to paste the exact same webhook URL which Public Connect gave us. Just copy this from here and then paste it over here. After adding the webhook URL, the next thing it asks us is the trigger column. Now here you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? So the trigger column is basically the last data entry column of our Google Sheet. So here in this background, you can see that in my Google Sheet, I have five columns, still column E. Column E is going to be my trigger column because this is the last column in which I'm going to enter my data, enter any details. So I will be selecting column E 
as trigger column. But if you have created more columns in your Google Sheet, like column E, F, G, H, I, J, any column could be your trigger column. You just have to ensure that it is the last data entry column of your Google Sheets. And after entering this trigger column, just click on this send test button. Now, when we click on send test, it is showing us test data sent successfully. This means the data of the first row after headers. So in row one, we have the headers of our Google Sheet. And in row two, we have this data of a user. The data of row two, first row after headers, is being sent to Pavli Connect. And here you can see the same data over here. So let's go back to Pavli Connect. And here you can see that in this Pavli Connect workflow in this trigger window, we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the details of the exact same row. You can see the same first name, same last name, same mobile number, same email address, and the same company. The details or the data of the user which we have added in a row in our Google Sheet, that same data is received inside Pavli Connect. This means the connection between Google Sheets and Pavli Connect is working perfectly fine. Now just click on the submit button and after clicking on submit, it is showing us set up configured successfully. So this means we have successfully connected Google Sheets with Pavli Connect. After this, just close this window. Just one second, go to extensions, Pavli Connect webhooks and here from this drop down, this time we have to select send on event. By selecting send on event, we are telling this Google Sheet, we are telling this add on that whenever data in a new row is added in our trigger column in this new row, Till our trigger column, whenever the data will be added, instantly, immediately send that data to Pavli Connect. So we are just going to add the data in our Google Sheet and instantly Pavli Connect Webhooks, this add-on or this Google Sheet is going to send that data to Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. It will start. So here guys, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, the details of a new user, which we have received from Google Sheet, we want to send these details to reply.io so that we can add this user as a person, as a contact over there. And for that, we will just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, we will search for reply over here. Select reply, this application. And then in action event from this drop down, select the action event as create slash update person. Then just click on connect and select add new connection over here. Now here guys, we have to connect our reply account, our reply.io account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key of our reply account. Now here you must be thinking how you can get this API key. So to get it, just go to your reply account, just log into your reply account. From the right sidebar, from this top corner, just hover on it and go to settings over here. After coming to the settings page from the left sidebar, go to API key. And here guys, in API key, you can see the API key of your reply account. Just copy this API key from here, go to Pavli Connect, and then just paste it over here. And after pasting this, just click on save. Now when we click on save, here you can see that our reply account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the email. So here it is asking us some details of the new person, of the new contact, which we are willing to create in reply.io. So here the first thing it asks us is the email address. That what is the email address of this new person, of this new contact which we want to create. So we have received the email address of a new person, of a contact from Google Sheet. So we have entered these details in Google Sheet and we have received this Google Sheet response in Pavli Connect in this trigger window. And here you can see the response of email over here. So what we have to do from this trigger responses which we have received from Google Sheet, we have to actually map this response of email address over here in this email field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Google Sheets. Out of all of these responses, select this response of email and map it over here. So whatever email address we are going to enter with the user details in this email column in our Google Sheet, this, with the same email address, the person, the contact will be created in reply.io. After email address, the next thing it asks us is the first name. So we have also entered first name in our Google Sheet and we have received this Google Sheet response in this trigger window. So from these responses, we have to map this response of first name over here in this field. And the process of mapping stays the same. Just click on this field and from the drop down, select the response of first name and map it. After mapping the first name, the next thing it asks us is the last name. 
So just click here and from this drop down, select the response of last name and map it. Then it is asking us for the company name. So map the response of company name over here. After this, it is asking us for the title, city, street, country, and some other details. So if you want, if you have received all of these details, you can enter these details into your Google Sheet and one by one map these details into the respective fields. But right now, all of these fields are not mandatory, are not required. So we are just going to ignore these fields for now. Then it is asking us for the phone number. So just click on this field and from the drop down from Google Sheet responses, select the response of phone number and map it. The plus sign is missing. So I will just manually add the plus sign with country code and phone number over here. Then it is asking us time zone, LinkedIn profile, custom field, all of these details. So if you want, you can add these details as well. Now here guys, these were the details which was asked by reply.io. But if you want to add some custom fields, if you want to add some custom data, some custom details of this new contact which we want to create, you can add these custom fields over here. So what you have to do, you just have to use this format. First, you have to enter the key. Then after the colon, you have to enter the field text. And then here you have to enter the value which you want to enter and the text note. In this way, you can add some data in format of custom field. You can add some custom data, some custom details of this new contact as well. And after mapping all the required details and entering all the details over here, what you have to do, you just have to click on this save and send test request button. And then here guys, after clicking on save and send test request, you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details which we have mapped over here of the user with these details, a new contact, a new person is created in our reply account. So let's check it. We will go to reply, we'll go to peoples and contacts over here. And yes, here you can see that demo user, the same person, the same user whose details we have added in our Google Sheet, the user with the same details is now added in reply over here. So it is showing us an invalid mobile number because we have added the country code. So if you remove the country code, it will be a valid mobile number over here. So here guys, you can see that this automation workflow, which we have created inside Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new row of data will be added, new row with user details will be added in Google Sheet. With the same details, a new person, a new contact will be created in our reply.io account. And here you can see that we have the same name, same email, same company, and same other details which we have added in Google Sheet. So here guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once. We'll just go to Google Sheet. We will go to a Google Sheet and here we are going to enter the details of a new user. For example, the name of this person is test user. This is the email address. This is the mobile number and then the companies, for example, Pavli Connect. So just now in our Google Sheet in a new row, we have entered the details of a new user. And we will see as we enter these details instantly within seconds with the same details, a new contact, a new person will be added in reply. So we'll just go to reply and refresh this contacts page once. And yes, here you can see that test user, the same user, the same person whose details we have just now added in our Google Sheet as a new row, the same person with the same details is now added. Here you can see the same name, same email address and the same company as well. And also you can see the same mobile number. This means guys, the automation workflow which we have created in this video, this automation is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new row of user details will be added in Google Sheet, with the same details, a new person, a new contact will automatically get created in our reply account. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can actually clone this same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. 
So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment out your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.